Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole. Welcome to my 15 minute pregnancy workout. Let's start with a quick warm up. As we get moving, you're going to bring your arms across your chest, crossing your right arm over your left arm, switching which arm is on top, slowly moving side to side, just finding a rhythm, really taking your time warming up. During pregnancy, it's extra important to spend time warming up, slowly increasing our heart rate, as well as warming up our muscles so that we are careful not to pull anything or injure ourselves. Next, we'll focus in on our legs a little bit more. You're going to go ahead and bring your heel towards your butt. You can go at whatever pace is comfortable for you. If you wanna move a little bit slower than I am, that's completely fine. The idea here is that you're feeling a stretch along the front of your thighs, which is your quad muscle. You're also getting your hamstrings and your butt muscles warmed up as you bring that heel towards your buns. Let's go ahead and end the last 30 seconds with a hold. So go ahead and hold your foot up towards your butt. Feel free to use a piece of furniture or a wall to steady yourself as balance can get more and more challenging the bigger and bigger our bellies and babies get. Go ahead and switch sides. Make sure you do about 15 seconds on each side here, really feeling that stretch up through the front of your hip and across your thigh down into your knee. Next, we'll focus in on your obliques and your shoulders and all along your arms as we reach overhead and across to the opposite side of the room. Again, go as fast or slow as you feel comfortable with. You're really just reaching and bending, using your other hand on your hip for a little bit of support if needed. For the last 30 seconds, let's focus on a hold. So here you're going to reach your left arm overhead towards the right side of the room and really hold that stretch, feeling it all along your arm, armpit, and your side. Go ahead and switch, bringing your right arm over towards the left side of the room and stretching all along that side. Let's move back down to our lower body. This is basically a lunge towards one side and then a lunge towards the other side. As you do this, you're going to be warming up your quads and your butt muscles, getting them ready for the workout, as well as feeling a nice stretch through that leg that's nice and straight. Right through your inner thigh, you should be feeling a slight pull as you bend down towards your knee. Again, take this at a pace that feels comfortable for you. If you feel like holding it, go ahead and do that. Let's move into a deep squat to finish warming up our lower body. You can hold this deep squat right in the middle. You can also rock it side to side like I'm doing here. You can spend more time on one side or the other. Really think about inhaling and completely relaxing as you stretch out those inner thigh muscles. Great birth prep work right here. We'll finish up our warm up with an arm stretch. You're going to go ahead and lace your hands behind your back and open up your chest. You can lift your arms as high as you comfortably can. You should really feel these through your pec muscles, through your chest. You can also lean forward if that feels comfortable to you and you feel safe doing that to really use gravity to help get a little more stretch if you'd like. That's the end of our warm up. We're gonna go ahead and move into the strengthening portion, starting with a squat. We'll spend 45 seconds squatting, and then we'll do 15 seconds of rest. 
As you squat down, sometimes it can be really helpful to have a chair or a bench behind you so you can really make sure you're sticking your butt out behind you instead of just letting your knees go forward over your toes. Think about your toes contacting the floor, really holding on as you squat down. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you stand. Inhale, exhale. Bonus points if as you stand up and exhale, you go ahead and squeeze your pelvic floor closed and relax it as you inhale and go down. Go ahead and rest. We'll continue to work our legs with our next move, which is going to be a backwards lunge. So you'll alternate stepping back with your right leg and then your left leg. Make sure that the leg that is in front is powering up and really helping you to get back into standing. If you feel like your back leg is working more, really focus in on that front leg, your thigh or your quad muscle, and really use it to power yourself back up into standing. I like to think about inhaling as I go down, exhaling as I stand back up. Inhale, exhale. You can also add weights down at your side or up at your chest if you wanna make this move a little bit more challenging. Take 15 seconds to rest, grab a drink if you need it, take some big deep breaths and really catch your breath. The next move is going to be a bit of a deadlift. I am demonstrating what that is going to look like. If you don't have weights, you can still make it challenging by just doing one leg at a time. Let's start with the left leg. Go ahead and reach down towards your feet, keeping your left leg fairly straight, really just a little bit of give in your knee. Your back is nice and straight as well. You're inhaling as you go down and then you exhale and squeeze your butt as you stand. Inhale, reach down. Exhale, squeeze your butt as you stand. If this feels a little bit too easy for you, you can always grab weights in your hands to make it a little bit more challenging. Go ahead and switch legs, put that right foot out in front. There should be 80% of your weight on that front foot and just using that back leg for balance, although sometimes it's not enough. <laughs> make sure you're close to a wall or something steady so that if you do you lose your balance, you have something to grab onto. Again, inhale as you go down, exhale, squeeze your butt as you come up. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze on the way up. Sorry ladies, I'm skipping the rest for you. We are gonna move right into an upper body exercise. You're going to do small circles with your arms. As you have your arms out to the side and are just rotating in little small circles, I want you to really think about your abs and your core working as you do this. I don't want you arching your back and letting your ribs flare way out or sticking your ribs up in the air. I want you to think about your abs being engaged, maybe a little bit of an exhale to keep them nice and tight so that you're not flaring your ribs. You can switch directions. We'll make sure we do 30 seconds the other way. And hopefully at about this point, you're thinking, wow, I thought this was gonna be really easy, but it's actually a little bit burny. Again, you can grab weights. I would start with a two pound weight, maybe five if you're really feeling ambitious, but this is a lot harder than it looks because we are doing it for a whole minute. Okay, go ahead and take a rest, shake your arms out, give yourself a break. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what the next exercise will look like after the break. You're gonna be raising arms overhead and then drawing them down towards your sides, really thinking about squeezing your shoulder blades together as you do this. I like to inhale as I bring my arms up and then exhale as I squeeze them down. Again, you wanna make sure that your abs, your core is engaged so that your ribs aren't flaring up. There's not a big arch in your back, but that your abs are really drawing those ribs down. Again, you should be feeling this in your back muscles. You shouldn't be feeling this a lot in your low back, but more in that upper back. You can also do this in kneeling if you want to make this more of a challenge for your core muscles. Hopefully you're feeling lots of movement in your shoulder blades as you do this. That really is something that can affect posture a lot is if we don't have movement in our shoulder blades. So really think about those moving up and down with your arms. 
We'll take a 15 second rest. And then at the end of that, we'll go ahead and move down into a hands and knees position, which is where we will be for this next exercise. This is one of my favorite ab exercises for pregnancy because it's really just focusing on breathing and letting the weight of your baby be the extra weight that you're lifting up and down. So you'll inhale, totally relax your belly, exhale, draw your belly button to your spine. It's like your abs are giving your baby a giant hug. Inhale and you're totally relaxing your belly, exhaling, you're drawing baby up towards your spine. Also, as you inhale, you're gonna relax your pelvic floor and as you exhale, you're gonna squeeze or do a Kegel. If you feel really good about that, you can go ahead and add a little bit of a bear crawl lift to this. So as you, after you exhale, draw your baby up towards your spine, you can lift and pause just a little bit as your knees are lifted up. Inhale, totally relax, but then as you exhale, lift your knees up just a little bit, pause. Inhale, bring everything back down and relax. You are really wanting your abs to hug baby and that's what's lifting up towards your spine. Finally, we are going to work our obliques or the side ab muscles. You're gonna get into a side lying position and I'm just demonstrating the different ways you can do this with your feet. You can have your knees bent or you can have your knees straight. Having your knees bent will be just a little bit easier. The main thing is that you're going to exhale, draw your belly button towards your spine, your pelvic floor up and in as you lift your hips up towards the ceiling. You're trying to maintain a nice straight line with your body from head to toe, your hips stacked over top of each other, that if there was a string from the ceiling to the floor, it would go through both of your hips. As you finish this out, really exhale, think about squeezing and lifting. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. And again, you can choose whatever position is gonna feel best for you with your legs. You could have one leg straight and one knee bent, both knees bent or both legs straight. Play around with this, feel what feels good to you. Again, really thinking about the stacking of your shoulders on top of each other, your hips on top of each other, and exhaling, drawing your abs in, squeezing and contracting your pelvic floor tighter and tighter. It's only 30 seconds. Two seconds left, you've got this. Great work today. We are now going to move into a cool down. Let's start with a bit of a child's pose where you're really leaning back into your hips, letting your sit bones open up nice and wide, reaching your arms out in front of you, trying to just inhale and exhale nice and relaxed. I know it's tempting to skip the cool down part of workouts, but again, just like it was important to warm up, it's also really important to cool down during pregnancy, letting your heart rate slowly come down. I went ahead and was reaching to the right side and then I'll go ahead and switch to the left side here, really trying to get some extra stretch through my side. We did do that side plank that muscle did work pretty hard, so I wanna make sure I'm stretching that out so I feel really good tomorrow. Next, we'll move into what I call windshield wipers. You're going to go ahead and sit, but then lean back just a little bit on your hands and let your knees fall out to the right side and the left side. You're really not using muscles to power this movement. You're letting the weight of your legs create a momentum and just swooshing side to side. From here, we'll move into a lunge, but in a kneeling position. This is a really great way to stretch the quads as well as your hip flexors that run right along the front of your hip. And we really want those to be stretched, have a lot of mobility in them to allow your pelvis to move in the ways that it needs to during your upcoming birth. You can also use a piece of furniture in front of you to really lean over and increase the amount of stretch that you're feeling without having to worry so much about your balance. A 
as always, we want to keep things symmetrical. So we'll go ahead and switch legs and make sure we are doing some rocking lunges on the other side. Again, just focus in on that area that runs from your knee up to the front of your hip. And that is really where you should be feeling the movement. Don't worry, I didn't switch legs. I just wanted to give you a different view of what this rocking lunge would look like. Finally, we'll move into a hands and knees position to really work on the mobility of your spine. With this, we're really not gonna focus on the arch at the bottom, but more the rounding up at the top. You should feel that from your tailbone all the way to the top of your neck, each vertebrae is flexing or bending and moving as you lift your spine up towards the ceiling. I like to exhale as I bring my spine up to the ceiling. You can also add a little twist to the right and the left if that feels good to you. There is no right and wrong to stretching. It's really whatever feels good. You can also do what I call tail wags here. Think about moving your tailbone to the right and to the left, making a bit of a C with your body. And again, I'm just ending with something that feels good to my body. There's really no rhyme or reason, just feels good. If you enjoyed this workout, I'd love to have you subscribe and join my community.